Google Fiber has been the lightning rod for the Kansas City Startup Village. Like, we didn't have it in mind when we built the community. What we wanted to do was kind of follow the startup communities around the nation who've been successful in just um, densifying and um, increasing the, um, the exposure of startups to one another in a very you know, collaborative space. Um, but when you throw Google on top of that, it's like the best icing on any cake you could ever have. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, I think they gotta like the fact that innovative people are coming yeah. and congregating to take advantage of their technology. Right. This was their experiment, Google's experiment, to try to bring high-speed fiber to a community. Whereas everywhere else, the start had been in businesses. Google was really interested to see, can, can we go the other direction? Can we do homes first and then do businesses? They've even offered as they go through neighborhoods, if you have a, a not a large business, but if you had a small business, the possibility you could, you could still get hooked up. But it really is a, uh, it really is a, home, uh, a home hookup, and that's been their emphasis from the very beginning. We're launching Google Fiber as a residential service, and with that, you can kind of anticipate that people who are passionate about connectivity, some of them are going to be on the business side, and those startup people are doing great things with this and, and leveraging you know, the connectivity in homes to make things happen for companies. And we're excited to see what this might mean for you know, anyone running a home-based business, uh, maybe even for people who haven't had a business before and might use this as a way to think about a new opportunity that they can create for themselves. We're excited by what the startup community has done with this. They are doing it for businesses. I mean, everyone in this, in this house has a business. Um, it's, you know, there are well-funded startups who are taking advantage of this. So the, the, uh, the brick and mortar businesses um, I mean, they're, they're, they're suffering a little bit because they don't have access to this yet. But um, they're all, they were suffering before because of the overhead they had as a brick and mortar business. And, and the fact that they're putting it into homes, um, it, what, what it just means is that the businesses are leaving their brick and mortars or they're not considering their brick and mortars and instead they're coming to live in these houses. I mean, it's interesting that they're their play on paper is residential, right? I mean, they put together the TV and the uh, high-speed internet package for residents. They probably couldn't have predicted what was gonna happen, but, you know, Google is Google, and I think they're, um, they're not one to um, be sticklers on the rules. And I think they saw what was going on. Um, you know, it's grassroots, it's organic, no one's taking advantage of their services, and I think they're like, hey, this is kind of cool, let's see what happens. They've been, I mean, I wouldn't <clears throat> say they're out in front of, right. like, leading the charge, right. but they aren't stopping us. Right. Or, you know, they aren't slowing us down. I mean, so it is, they're, they're letting us bend the rules as much as we can, you know? When Google chose Kansas City, um, I said, oh, okay, it's going to be Kansas City, because I was going to go wherever Google had decided um, to do their uh, fiber network. I thought about, you know, having as many people as possible to have fast internet. Most people don't in the United States have fast enough internet to um, do real-time audio collaboration? I'd, I'd say that uh, Google Fiber has been more of like the, the lightning rod, I guess you can say, that uh, kind of got, got everyone in this block, you know, that started KCSV. I think without Google Fiber, uh, you'd still see a somewhat similar movement, maybe not happening as quickly and not as dense though. Google Fiber is, is like a, a catalyst that's fueled this whole movement. One of the hot buzzwords in Kansas City right now is ecosystem. So for the entrepreneurs who are attracted, this is a fantastic ecosystem to be a part of. And it's not just a you know, this formalized ecosystem. It's the culture of Kansas City is right for this kind of activity to be happening. I mean, we've had uh, people reach out to us through the website saying, hey, I've seen a lot of buzz going on in Kansas City. Um, I'm familiar with it, maybe I grew up there, but now I'm living in you know, California, I'm looking to relocate my business somewhere, the costs are too high, whatever. 
love the community aspect of Kansas City or love the Google Fiber or combination. So we've had interest uh, from, we do have a guy moving his startup from Silicon Valley. Um, he was actually considering Austin and Cambridge. I'm meeting with a guy today from Berkeley, California. He found out about it. He's got some ties to Kansas City. And so we hope it will attract businesses from other areas. We hope it will attract high quality workforce. But at the same time, how do we take these businesses that are, that are here now or they're maybe starting up or trying to figure out how to, to get bigger or how to get, get more profitable. And how can they use this high-speed fiber to do that also? I, I, I see what's going on here in Kansas City now with Google Fiber. I mean, Google Fiber is giving people a reason to talk about Kansas City. Kansas City, you know, we're not good at bragging or you know, talking about ourselves that much. I was told at one time by a Google person at KCK we were not in the, in the, at one point wasn't in the top 20. 